Hey lovely people, it is a girl by if you're new to my channel, I say welcome and if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for turning back in. In today's video, I want to talk about things that inhibit your hair's growth, things that make your hair grow slower, things that are stopping you from reaching your maximum growth rate so if you are interested in knowing what these things are then stay tuned but before we dive right into this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already subscribe it is free subscribe oh it is free what are you waiting for subscribe it is free do you hear where's my ears here do you hear <laughs> do you hear turn on the post notification so that you are notified when i upload my new video also check me out on instagram okay now without further ado let's dive right into this video our hair finds itself in a growth cycle and this growth cycle is divided into three phases anagen catagen telogen at any given time 90 percent of the hair finds itself in the growth phase in this phase and this phase depending on your genetics on the average it lasts between two and seven years the anagen phase determines how much hair you are able to grow in an amount of time that means if you have a longer anagen phase you're able to grow more hair in that set time whereas if you have a shorter anagen phase that means that you're not able to grow the same amount of hair compared to the other person who has a longer anagen phase for example if i was to have an anagen phase of five years in these five years i'll be able to grow my hair but someone whose anagen phase let's say is two years that person would not be able like based on this would not be able to grow the same amount of hair like me because after two years that person's anagen phase has ended whereas mine continues for another three years okay i hope that made things clear so these things are preset it's in the genetics you can't change it it's just what it is and we gotta accept it just like that we can't change it <laughs> Unless you have biotic B bio slicer and DNA manipulator, then you can do that. But other than that, you just have to accept genetics just the way it comes. Hormonal imbalance, imbalance, <laughs> imbalance. Hormonal imbalance can attribute to hair loss and hair shedding and which can inhibit our hair's growth okay hormonal imbalance is one of the most common causes of hair loss with women signs of hormonal imbalance include imbalance why do i keep saying imbalance 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 it is signs of hormonal imbalance includes sudden mood swings and hair loss of course there are varieties of different symptoms that can show that you have hormonal imbalance but of course you'd have to check in with your doctor to figure out what those causes are i mean to get a real diagnosis with that checking with your doctor to find a way a therapy to solve that issue so that that will not inhibit your hair's growth general health issues can be a contributing factor as to why your hair is not growing as fast as it should general health issues like stress or sicknesses can cause our hair to slow down in growth and for instance when stressed we take in shallow breath and with shallow breath that means we don't take in as much oxygen and if we don't take enough oxygen the body decides to distribute the oxygen to the most vital places like the vital organs and the hair follicle will be the last to receive any sort of oxygen and therefore the follicle doesn't have sufficient oxygen to thrive some nutrients that are very important for hair's clothes glo glo <laughs> Some nutrients that are very important in hair's growth include iron, vitamin A, vitamin B, C, D, nascent, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, and zinc. These vitamins, these nutrients are very, very vital. They play a vital role in hair's growth. And if we should be deficient in any of these vitamins, 
it's going to inhibit our hair's growth because they're all linked and they're all connected if one is missing the other one can't function because um, the body can't absorb certain vitamins without the presence of the other vitamins so we have to make sure to have a balance of each vitamin so that everything can work accordingly okay I know that people out there who like their gummy bears, who like their chocolate, who like their burgers, their pizzas, whatever. But eating these kinds of food and solely eating these kinds of food is not healthy for our hair. Poor diet can inhibit our hair's growth, mainly because of the blood sugar spikes. Please note that I'm not a doctor, okay? I'm not a doctor, I'm not a doctor. So everything I'm saying, I'm saying I went to do the research. So please. Um, if I am mistaken somewhere, please bear with me. Ah, huh? cool. <laughs> insulin resistant is linked to hair loss. You are insulin resistant when you have high levels of sugar in your blood and insulin isn't able to take in those sugars into the cells, meaning your body is resistant and insulin resistance is linked to hair loss. Medications are there to minimize the symptoms of whatever issues we have, like sickness, but they have their side effects. Every medication has its side effects, hair loss. And in order to combat it, I can't tell you to stop the medication that you're using because it might be detrimental to your health, but you can check in with your doctor to find an alternative. Maybe there is a different medication that won't cause your hair to shed as much or that won't slow down your hair's growth. Avoid doing too many things to your hair. Doing too many things to our hair can cause more damage than good. I know sometimes we wanna try out different kinds of styles and do this and do that and do this with our hair, but sometimes we just need to give our hair a break. Especially when handling our hair, detangling our hair, we need to be gentle because if we aren't gentle, and I say this so many times on this channel, I've said it so many times here in my videos that you need to be gentle when combing your hair you need to be gentle when handling your hair pamper your hair treat it like a delicate fabric like a delicate you know the most expensive um satin silk whatever material that is very delicate doing this can cut down a lot of breakage that people encounter because i feel like i personally my opinion is that the most amount of damage that is caused is during styling and detangling these are the times where a lot of people encounter the most damage that they self-inflict knowingly or unknowingly that is something you can change like today when you're doing your hair today you can just stop just chill take a break have a seat have a kit cat <laughs> And a follow-up video to this will be how to maximize your hair's growth, how to get your hair to grow faster. So the things that you can do to get your hair to grow to its maximums, maximums, <laughs> maximum growth potential, you know, the maximum growth rate possible. Yeah, there is no magic to that. So look out for that video. Guys, I hope you like this video and you could take one or two or three things from this video and it could actually help you out. If you have any questions or suggestions as to what kind of video you want from me or you have questions with regards to this topic, then leave them in the comments below, in the comments, in the comments below or this email address. I feel like a lot more people should write me to this email because I didn't create it for nothing. Write me there and you can ask me questions, okay? Ask me. It's called Ask Obaya something, something, something. I don't even remember. So just um, send me your questions there because sometimes, or even your suggestions, because sometimes, like I've said in previous videos, I might not see your comments because I do get a few comments and I don't always have time to go through each comment and to reply, even though I try as much as possible to reply to each and every one of your comments because I really appreciate that you take your time to watch my video and to comment underneath the video. So the least I can do is to reply to each one of you, but I'm only human. I am only human, so I might miss your comment. And if um, you send me your comments, this email address, I'm definitely going to see it because I mean it's in my email so it won't get lost in the in the sea of comments so I hope you understand thank you so much for watching this video and if you liked it don't forget to give it a like to subscribe if you haven't already and also to turn on the post notifications so that you are notified when I upload my new video also check me out on Instagram it is your girl Obaya
e e aba ya e e aba ya e ba e ba ba e e okay all right <laughs> it is a good bye 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 Take off this wing.